What's going on guys? So it's me, Diego. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I hope you guys had an amazing week. Today we're gonna go ahead and discuss the 16, the Sony 16 to 35 F4. That's the lens I'm currently using. That's the lens I've been using for my last couple of videos. And we're gonna go ahead and dive in, get some details on it and see if it's really worth the money because like I said, I got the F4, not the 2.8. And the difference is almost like 12 to $1,400 if I'm not wrong. So let's stick around, let's check it out. All right guys, so the first topic on this lens that we're gonna go ahead and touch base on is gonna be photography. So here, pulled up on right about over here on my left shoulder, you can see that's my friend Freddy. Uh, yesterday went out to a brunch spot with a couple of friends, uh, my girlfriend Camila, and I was able to capture a shot of him. I told you the lens is an F4, so for low light, if you're going out during the day, it's perfect. All I did was stop the aperture down the lowest I could, which is F4, and just started maneuvering myself around ISO and the shutter speed. In this photo, he's just on his phone. We're over at Canopy, so it's not like the brightest spot, um, but I was able to get some cool pictures, like I said. This is an edited photo, um, but we were able to still catch it by playing around with the ISO and the shutter speed. You know, made his glasses pop. We used the reflecting of the light in the back and the beer bottle. I love the detail of this lens. You can really see like the skin tones are perfect. Things are just very sharp, and I love that about this lens. And the fact that it has that 16 millimeter, I was able to get up close to him and still capture a lot of him. Not just his head or not just his shoulders, but like all the way down, it's almost his jeans, which I thought was pretty cool. Next photo is of Camila. We just found this little spot right outside the restaurant. Um, it was like a little bench. I just told her to sit down. We started snapping away. Again, I had no filter, so no ND filter, no polarizer, just the lens and the camera itself. In this photo, I love the way you can still see so much detail in her hair, her eyes, her dress, even her tattoo on her waist, you can see it, and the trees in the back. And even though it's an F4, there's still a bouquet. So people that say you can't get a bouquet with an F4, totally wrong, you can definitely do it. You just need to play around the lens, get closer, get a little bit further from the subject, but you can definitely get it. And I'm loving this lens, so that's great. Next photo, again, Camila. It was a spot walking into the restaurant. In case you guys are interested, the restaurant is located in Wynwood, Miami. It's called uh, Projecto Tulum. Check it out, food's amazing. Um, really cool vibe, awesome music. It's outdoors, so it is a little bit hot, but just get a seat by the fence. Recommend it, check it out. But in this photo, I love how like they had like this canopy thing on the way in, and it had like this cool style, almost like you were somewhere else. Really, really cool. We wanted to snap some shots there. And again, a lot of detail in the photo. The bokeh effect was great. Um, and like I told you, F4, all I do is play around with the ISO and the shutter speed. And I think the photo came out great. Again, these are edited photos, but even the raw photo straight, I barely had to do anything really to get exactly what I wanted and how I wanted it to look. Um, next photo. So this was a close up. Again, you can see the bokeh is great. The background's fully blurred out, the detail in Camila's hair, her eyes are popping, even the leaf that she loses to cover, like the lower part of her face. Great detail in that leaf. You can see the striations and the lines coming down the leaf. Really good. Guys, as far as photography, I think this lens is great because you have a 16 to 35, which is wide, but then a 35 is like perfect for like street photography, portraits. And F4 is not that bad during the day. Obviously, the darker it gets, you are gonna need lights, but if you're an all day shooter, I think it's great. If it's, can you do, can you deal with this one all day and just have this one lens? Absolutely. If you're just trying to do portraits, you have to play around with your camera, but I think that's the point is to get to know your gear and you'll definitely be able to execute. I feel like photography wise, I think if you're doing landscapes, street photography, uh, portraits, pretty much anything, I think this lens really covers all of it. Um, and like I said, even in low light, like I said, with the proper lighting, you can probably definitely get some amazing footage. I think honestly, this is a great lens to have. And I know some people are gonna be like, oh, you should find the F2.8. But for the F4, for what I'm doing and how I've used it so far, I've been super satisfied. I really do think it's a great, great lens. And for the price point and the price difference compared to the 2.8, you can't go wrong. I mean, in the end, it is a Zeiss lens and Zoni Zeiss is super, super sharp. Like I told you, I am very happy and satisfied with the lens in this purchase. I think this lens is great for video as well. I mean, I'm not just trying to hype up this lens because I own it. I've wanted this lens for a really long time, but now that I have it, it's not one of those things that you have and you're like, damn, like now that I have it, I wish I would have gone the other way. No, I'm very satisfied. And like for video, like I've been using this lens for like YouTube or just vlogging or having fun, like doing B-roll and it gets the job done. Yeah, it's an F4. 
but it still gets the job done and it's super sharp. Like I've been using it for everything. The last time I used it was for when I went to Tulum and there was this guy spinning fire like towards the nighttime and I was able to capture it and I think the quality looks great. All I did was bump up the ISO. I know A7 Mark III is amazing for low light. No grain, no issue. And I'm very satisfied. I was like, wow, I couldn't even believe Like I came back and I saw the footage and I was just like, wow, like this is some really quality stuff. So I think this setup is really good if you're doing weddings. You know, I think people are doing weddings or shooting cars, anything that's like running gunning, you just have to pack one lens. Or if you're even traveling, like, I'm thinking about like my next trip, just packing this and maybe an 85 millimeter. Just having these two lenses and that's it, just to try it out to see if I can actually cover the ground. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Stick around for that one. But yeah, definitely, I think that would be great. Like you can really get so much done just with this one lens. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. The big question, Zoni Zeiss 16 to 35 F4, do I recommend it? Definitely. Is it an amazing lens for photo and video? Hell yes. This lens is great and added to my arsenal. Is it worth the money? Definitely. It's super high quality. The fact that you have so much just with one lens, I'm definitely taking it everywhere. Like I said before, I'm thinking about maybe just traveling, just maybe one or two lenses, and this is gonna be definitely one of them. Um, guys, thanks so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.